All right, everyone, the Halo Infinite Winter Update over video is live, so let's check it out. The Forge. The Winter Update is our Rift holiday Maybe? Of all -play multiplayer product. Oh, uh, looks like the same menu screen coming out. No update to the menu screen, which is, uh, I didn't expect it. Lots of don't really care. It'd be nice though if they updated it. So for the two events and match XP, and all that is free. I would hope match XP would uh, be free. <laughs> and some teleports would be a nice little classic like gameplay like right there. Oh, it takes you all the way to the other half of the map. Okay. Like people hanging out. That's actually kind of nice. Less bottlenecks. Oh, they completely changed the uh, the aesthetics with like being on like a on a ship or something. Having this big kind of central courtyard has created a lot of really cool gameplay that feels different than a lot of things we have in Infinite so far. Central courtyard? Have you not played Catalyst? This actually should be a pretty fun mode. I'm looking forward to it. So it sounds like they're gonna try to move away from the challenges, I guess. Oh, I like the 100 Thieves hoodie. Maybe a hint of something to come. We'll see. This is cool as the bots now. <laughs> no details about the uh, the events. I mean, like everything we've treaded over is something we've already heard. Everything they've covered so far is what we've heard before. Campaign co-op is gonna be sick. Right? If you haven't, if you missed the flight, you really missed out. Like co-op. An infinite campaign is literally designed for for it. Like it's it's going to be amazing, a totally new experience. Even though you're, you've already played the campaign, doing it in co-op is going to be way more fun, and it's going to it's going to really change the experience. Yeah, it's great for progressions for everyone, but. It'd be cool, like, if you're, like, a new player, you're like, dude, you got, I want to show you this one section of the game, it's really cool. I, yeah, so he's talking about the, the tether still gotta be there for launch. I don't like the tether idea, if they say within a certain distance. I say just, you know, let people do whatever they want. There must be some limitations with the engine or something with the game, where, like, if people are too far apart, that tracking things gets weird. Okay. Nice. I'm glad they doubled it at least. Griefing is a very important aspect of uh, co-op. I mean, kind of, yeah. It actually is. <laughs> when I played co-op, we spent more half the time killing each other more than killing the enemies. And it's fun. It really is. Co-op in this game is really fun. It's way more fun than the previous Halo games, in my opinion. Oh, the content machine Forge. Okay. Oh, look at this repulsor soccer. That looks awesome, man. Yeah, put that content in the game, dude. It looks it looks amazing. Scaling's gonna be huge for Forge. I remember trying to Forge back in Halo 3. I'm like, man, I wish my box was like this size or something like that. It's gonna be great. Actually, it is actually very obtainable. I looked at this and like, wow, this is way too complicated. But once they showcase in a Forge highlight video that you know we covered previously on the channel, it actually once you sit down and actually look at it, it's actually not too crazy. Lots of going to be huge to help kind of test out your maps. So when you're just kind of playing by yourself, you're like, oh, is this going to be something that's going to work out? It's the kind of engagement I want to get into, kind of stuff. Man, I already hope that curfew map gets in the game because it looks amazing. All right. Well, that is the winter update video. Pretty much everything we've already covered on the channel previously. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I mean, that's the best way to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo is uh, subscribing to the channel here. Uh, there's some interesting things that they kind of brought up within this video as well. Like first, we'll just kind of start at the beginning and we'll just kind of work our way through uh, what is something worth talking about here. So this is probably about like, what? Like it's a 10, 12 minute long video talking about everything involving uh, what's coming with the winter update. I'm pretty sure there's like gonna be a sandbox update. We've heard previous videos or previous statements from 343 devs saying that there's like a buffed pulse carbine that they're working with and stuff like that. Um, but we'll see how that actually happens. I would assume there'd be some kind of uh, update with to the sandbox. Uh, but yeah, most of the, everything they talked about in this video, we already covered on the channel and they already told us multiple times. I think it's more just kind of like a all in one place, more kind of like entertaining watch when it comes to stuff that's coming into the game, uh, for sure. They didn't mention anything about the pit, which the pit's gonna be coming in uh, soon after uh, the release of Forge. Hopefully in November, uh, we'll have to wait and see because we do know that uh, the pit will be put into rotation for uh, the competitive maps uh, sometime, at least before the release of season two for uh, HCS. So that's gonna be happening. I don't know why they keep focusing so much on Argyle and Detachment when you get like the pit, <laughs> the pit is coming into the game, you know? Uh, right here, Argyle is actually really cool that they kind of changed it up a bit from when we first saw like some leaks images with, which and videos that we covered previously on the channel uh, when they first showcased it as well. Uh, so it's cool to see it has a little bit of update right there. The, yeah, the covert one flag, it's like, meh, you know, it's 
it's a cool mode. Seems pretty interesting. Is it gonna make me stop playing for ranked free for all ranked arena? You know, probably not. But if you have, if you have some friends, fun mode to kind of hop in and play. I'm glad to see that three, four three is focusing more on the social fun aspects of Halo recently with their game modes rather than being like another version of Slayer, like SWAT being like the new cool thing to do in the game, which I mean, we've been able to play SWAT since Halo 2, so it's not, or, or Fiesta as well, so nothing too crazy there. Um, but that seems pretty nice. I wish they showed more about like the battle pass and stuff like that in this game, in this preview as well. Maybe they're saving it for the YouTubers to make the content about it as well. I mean, it's a 32 battle pass, uh, all the, for each armor set so you know and love and stuff like that so uh, we did see this previously as well when it comes to uh that forge video that recently went out and the reason why i bring up the sandbox update potentially coming in uh is because look at this gravity hammer hit from the forge video watch watch what happens to the uni check and like stuff around uh michael short wings makes this swing right here look at this bam a huge like gravity wave happens physics happen the player gets thrown like way up high in the air I would assume this would be the retail version of Halo Infinite because, uh, you know, obviously they're playing it. If they're showcasing the streaming this, they probably want to showcase some of the different changes coming in as well. Um, and right now, because if you try to use a gravity hammer online, there are no physics tied to it. Some weird things happen with the engine where online physics don't work exactly the same when it comes to the offline version, which this could be offline as well, which could cause the stuff kind of stuff to happen. But I doubt that. I do feel like it's a little plan to kind of showcase, like, yeah, there's a little hint right there showcasing the gravity hammers getting the physics added into. Changes to the sandbox happening with the winter update. And like I said earlier, campaign co-op, dude, is going to be absolutely awesome for this game. Like, I know we've all played the campaign already, but I would say after playing the flight, especially for campaign co-op, that no other Halo game does co-op better than Halo Infinite's co-op for for campaign like I, I know it's a bold statement there but the thing is like it feels like you're playing with your friends in a game that's designed for that where previous halo campaigns really felt like you're just kind of playing along with your friend kind of thing that is like you're playing their game kind of in a way and uh the, a lot of the encounters that you come across a lot of the different mechanics you can utilize within the classic halo games really felt like they were tailored for a single player experience where now this one is definitely feels like it's tailored for a co-op experience. It's a shame that this feature didn't launch with the game because I guarantee you people would be loving the campaign even more than they did originally. And I'm really excited to play some, this, through this campaign once again, both some co-op, we can hop in the stream, play with you guys as well. That would be really sweet. If you guys want to follow me, I'll uh, put my link to my Twitch is in the description down below. I make, we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. We'll be doing that. We'll be doing some Forge games as well. Uh, Forge is going to be huge as well for the for Halo Infinite map, but just because there's just so much like almost limitless amount of content that can come from, from this. They mentioned nothing about the file share system that's going to be coming with the game, which is going to be absolutely huge to give players a catalyst to be able to one rec find the recommended set that we talked about, when we which we all covered this previously on the on the channel as well. Saying there's going to be like a recommended channel page. There's going to be a recommend you know highest rated maps highest rated mode high highest rated prefabs and things like that you can also just browse all by search by keywords when it comes to uh, looking at forge content which is gonna be absolutely super important it's not super exciting it's just saying like look at all the cool stuff you can do with forge but like that's super important so then people can actually find the content and play with it and I'm sure you're probably thinking, well, what about the custom game browser? That's not going to be coming until season three. And when talking about season three content, they also mentioned about a lot of the uh, canvases that are going to be coming in with the game as well. Uh, two notable things that are missing. No ocean water map. And also there is no like glacier snowy uh, map. Well, right now, uh, we've covered this previously on the channel as well. Like uh, this is a recurring theme. Make sure you subscribe. That uh, there's going to be a there is going to be those maps kind of coming into Forge. Uh, there were data mined up previously. Every data mine I've seen from when it comes to the canvases has been true so far. So I'm pretty sure they're probably saving a little bit of that content for season three. So when that drops, you, know, you get a little bit of extra hype coming your way for um, your, your forgers out there. One thing I was kind of hoping they provide a little more detail on were the two events coming in with the winter update. We have the winter contingency two and also joint fire whatever those two really mean. 
Uh, we, we do have a bit of suspicion when it comes to what the Winter Contingency 2 is going to be in Halo Infinite. Uh, right now, the current leaked out game mode is called Glow Ball, where basically everyone is just killing, trying to kill each other with a plasma grenade, which is very similar to what we had in Halo 5 with Snowball Fight. So I would assume it's probably going to be something involving with that. So a little bit more of a social fun mode that's going to be more themed to the event. Much more than it was the first time around we did the winter contingency last year, which I felt like it was just more just kind of playing more of the same. But this time you have like a kind of uh, updates when it comes to content for unlocks and things like that. Um, we've seen some data mine leaks about like a snowman head and like an um, Andy Kane icicle kind of like stabby tool thing. You know, we've seen a few of those leaks, but of course those were all leaked out like last year as well. Uh, but we'll see what actually gets put into the, the pass for these events. Uh, of course, as soon as they get that information, concrete information about it, you know, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel because, you know, this is kind of something that we do for the most part. But yeah, I think overall, guys, when it comes to this video, I think it was mainly just to, designed to be just like a one stop shop for everything that's going to be coming with the game. I mean, I love its retreaded information that we covered previously on the channel from what 343 gave us, but it's just kind of like in one spot that's kind of like a fun, entertaining watch. And that's also informational where previously there were like, you know, hour long live streams kind of going into details about everything. So if you want to stay up to date with everything going on Halo, make sure you tap subscribe, guys. If you want to catch my most recent video, check out this one right here. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.